February is Black History Month. Today, we are celebrating Gwendolyn Brooks. Gwendolyn Brooks is one of the most highly regarded, influential, and widely read poets of 20th century American poetry. She was a much honored poet, even in her lifetime, with the distinction of being the first black author to win the Pulitzer Prize. She also was poetry consultant to the Library of Congress, the first black woman to hold that position, and poet laureate of the state of Illinois. Many of Brooks' works display a political consciousness, especially those from the 1960s and later, with several of her poems reflecting the civil rights activism of that period. Her body of work gave her a unique position in American letters. Not only has she combined a strong commitment to racial identity and equality with a mastery of poetic techniques, but she has also managed to bridge the gap between the academic poets of her generation in the 1940s and the young black militant writers of the 1960s. Here's a poem by Gwendolyn Brooks, The Bean Eaters. They eat beans mostly, this old yellow pear. Dinner is a casual affair. Plain chipware on a plain and creaking wood, tin flat war, tin flatware, two who are mostly good. Two who have lived their day, but keep on putting on their clothes and putting things away. And remembering, remembering with twinklings and twinges as they lean over the beans in their rented back room that is full of beads and receipts and dolls and cloths, tobacco crumbs, vases and fringes. Good morning and welcome back to the Daily Panther. I'm Hershini and I'm your host for today. Today is Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. The letter day is B. Happy birthday to Calliope Primus. Happy first day of February. Now you only have 47 days left to spring. There's a special schedule today. Yearbook club photos will be taken in the gym between fourth and fifth periods from 1048 to 1133. Club presidents, please let your members know to come to the gym for a club photo. Sources of strength will be meeting today during activity period in the library. Come join us, everyone is welcome. A science Olympiad meeting will be held today during activity period in Ms. Pilatus room, 214. This meeting is mandatory as our competition is this Saturday. If you cannot attend, you must check in with Ms. Scales or Ms. Pilata. If anyone is interested in supporting the science Olympiad team, see a member about our fundraiser, which ends Friday. Seniors are beginning to choose their senior internships. Speaking of internships, here is one to consider. Northern Westchester Hospital is now accepting applications for the senior internship program. Please visit the Green Gazette for application materials or see Mr. Fondi in the main office. Quote of the day, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Helen Keller. Daily Panther fun fact. Cats are not able to taste anything that is sweet. Thank you for watching The Daily Panther and have a glorious day.